Hi everybody, Peter of England. Today's video is a follow-up on the previous one uh, on the topic of um, the Brocad uh, Clausula Rebus Sic Stantibus, or CRSS for short. Uh, on the previous video that I put out there, um, it stimulated obviously a lot of conversation and a lot of intricacy on actually how it is to be used. So the video today is going to address those points. Now, for those who haven't watched the previous video, then that's a necessity for you to do now. Um, if you haven't listened to it, then this will make um, more abstract sense than it should do. So what the main thrust of the, 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 the clause uh, Clausula rebus sixtantibus, the Latin phrase, is um, a direct antidote to uh, another phrase in Latin which dominates society, dominates you, dominates everything from, uh, from birth to death, and that is the social implication and the assumption that promises must be kept. Now, most of you watching this video would say, of course, that's a fundamental brickwork, a fundamental foundation in any society anywhere in the world. You make a promise to somebody and you need to keep it. However, if you start to unpick the, um, the weaving and the, the fabrication of these so-called promises, what you'll tend to find is who put these promises into being and loaded them onto your back in the first place. Invariably, it isn't within the family that the promises are made. It's external st sources, whether that's kings, barons, um, uh, potentates, rulers, mandarins of business, contracts, the judiciary, um, uh, teachers, teaching establishments, presidents. Um, it's, it's got a taste all of the same. And why I'm uh, addressing this today is I'm trying to instill within you, those people watching this video, um, and who are looking out into the world and seeing it as it is, how it's unfolding, um, uh, and they can only but see trouble historically, trouble at the present time, and trouble maybe in the future. So what I'm trying to do is put some type of formulation together to help you get out of this bind or this fix or this trap. Now, I didn't labor the point in the previous video so much upon the, the, um, the way that you can use these, this statement or these stickers on the clausula rebus sixtantibus on the assumption of the birth certificate legal name fraud. So that's really what I want to touch on today to explain to you what I'm proposing that you should do. And we're probably about two to three minutes or maybe four into this video now. And so, so people don't drift away, I'll get and cut to the chase. The idea is that with the, the actual document, the tome, the 80 odd pages of instructions that were put together for you in this, that's the groundwork, that's the groundwork document to explain the rationale behind the rationale behind the, um, the, the, the clause and also this brocade number two, the assumption that promises must be kept. Now, what I'm averring to here or referring to here is the fact that it seems to be quite a myopic situation where the promises that are foist upon you have to be kept, but the promises made by the politicians in their parliamentary manifestos, their promises before election, are indeed very rarely kept. And to them, it doesn't matter whether they keep them or whether they don't. And why is this? It's because it's wrapped up in a fundamental um, Freemasonic wrapping Born out mainly by the teachings in modern Freemasonry of uh, Alistair Crowley, who was probably the most potent and most um, uh, esoterically knowledgeable witch or Freemasonic adept 
of the last 100, 150 years, uh, and his basic statement was, uh, do what thou wilt is the extent of the law. So in, in normal English, that would be, do whatever you want. That's the law. So in their framework, there is no right and there is no wrong. They are there to do whatever they wish to do. And this is furthering the agenda, which is an anti-Christic agenda, because whether you know it or not, the, the, the religion of Freemasonic orders, whether it's the United, um, the, the United Grand Lodge of the UK, whether it's the Scottish Rite then, which between them control all the lodges of the world, including the Blue Lodges. Um, these members of these lodges have all sworn and taken an oath of allegiance to not Jesus Christ, not to the God of the Bible, as you might uh, interpret it or think of it, uh, but in fact they've taken a vow of uh, an oath of allegiance and support and secrecy to the agenda which is called the Luciferian agenda, the, the, the morning star, the bringer of the light. Um, and so with that in mind, there is the church of Lucifer. Lucifer is also re referred to often as satanic or Satan. So Satanism um, perpetrates and patrols this world in its entirety. And so what I'm trying to do is put some type of antidote for you together, which allows you to get from under the wheels of their system. Now, it's a very, very ancient skill, uh, craft or practice that has been really inherited from um, the Mesopotamian, Babylonian mystery schools, which then um, traveled west into Egypt, then further from Egypt into Greece, from Greece then into Rome, Rome then into Europe, where in around 1735, 1740-ish, supposedly uh, a guy called um, Adam Weishaupt um, created the, the German or Bavarian Illuminati, um, I would like to do a, a webinar on this, so if anyone's interested in me doing that, please put something down in the comments, and if I get enough uh, requests, then that's what I can cover in an individual um, uh, uh, webinar, because obviously the things that we need to connect with there are a lot too intricate to cover in, a, in this reasonably short uh, um, YouTube video. So what I'm really trying to say to you is, that the society that has rooted you into these Adesian contracts is, is dictating every single move that you make in your daily life. And so these contracts that you are welded into, these Adesian contracts, are for your mortgages, for your utility, for your car insurance, for paying internet, for telephones, for water, state taxes, local taxes, driving license fees, you name it, you are welded into this payment structure. So what I'm trying to do is to say if these structures were inherently fraudulent at the outset, unbeknownst to you, then there's something that you can do about it. So there's a double um, undertow here. There is one where we're looking at fraud, which is separate from this, but equally, these days, now that you've found out the nature of the game, you've got something to, to, um, to use as a shield or a defense to say, I'm through with it, I've had enough of it. So with these um, stickers, if you'll look at the link at the bottom uh, after this video, and I'll post it in the comment section, what we're looking to do is give you a very, very simple way out, a simple road out, a simple ejection seat if you wish, wish from the system. So all you'll do is, um, for those who want to purchase the stickers and have already purchased the stickers, you simply peel one of these off, stick it onto the utility bill or the tax bill or the demand for payment that you've received, the fine, the court fine, it doesn't matter which country of the world you're in or um, what the nature of the demand for payment is, you stick that on and send it back to the, um, the so-called 
creditor or the individual that's demanding or the corporate entity that's demanding payment from you. Now, I've touched on Freemasonry and I need to explore that a little bit more for you because the entire network of um, society, the social framework, the architecture of finance and economy and labor has a very, very toxic, uh, despicable, diabolical undertow to it because it's there to restrict you and keep you controlled and down in a cage. Now, unfortunately, as far as a Masonic fraternity are concerned, they consider you um, vulgar, they consider you profane, and in all of their, um, their, their, their tomes and direction of how to run the lodges and what they can and should not say in public and in other areas, they look upon the general mass of humanity as worthless and requiring to be sticked like a donkey and driven in a particular direction because of their stupidity and general ignorance. Now, the people who are Freemasons worldwide are numerous. I would say with, without a doubt that everybody that you know of in, let's say, the, the, the media business, which is singing, music, performing arts, cinema, Hollywood, um, are, are Freemasons. They've all been inducted into the hall or have taken an oath of allegiance to Lucifer. That, therefore, would not be necessary for me to say that um, because all politicians are in there anyway. So whether you're in the United States, the Congress is in, Set the Senate are in, the Westminster Parliament in the UK are in. So there is a political glass ceiling over which you do not pass unless you have uh, been blooded or taken in uh, because the Masonic control grid is like the Mafia. You're either in it or you're not in it. And if you're in it, you're in it forever. So uh, I've, I've touched on musicians like um, Bono from U2, from Sting, Bob Geldof, um, the Beatles, Bowie, um, the Rolling Stones, um, modern ones like uh, Beyonce, the Kanye West. Uh, all of these people all make the signs and you will see if you go on to Google Images and search any of these, they're all making various signs on their, 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 their stock portfolios before they begin or when they begin. Even people like, you know, um, actors like um, Matt Damon, uh, Clooney, uh, Kucher, Brad Pitt, uh, Adam Sandler, uh, Katy Perry, Russell Brand, all of them, without exception, have, have got stock photos of them swearing allegiance to the satanic fraternity and the Luciferian agenda. Invariably, those things for politicians are involving a handshake, where you'll see the, the thumb pressing between the knuckle uh, and middle finger, or the thumb laid across the, the back of the palm like this. You'll see lots of these strange photographic opportunities whether it's Putin shaking hands with Macron or whether it is Donald Trump shaking hands with somebody, the photographer always signals to the audience that know um, what's actually going on there. And another common one is this particular type of hand sign in lots of meetings when you'll see uh, people like Merkel or Boris Johnson, Cameron, um, Trudeau, sitting there uh, with their hands in such a posture, they're signifying something. Lots of the, um, the, 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 um, the influencers, the people, the role models for the young uh, are, are seen all the time making various gestures with their fingers to represent the horns of Baphomet. Another one on stop shots usually are uh, uh, the, the vow of silence, so the oath whereby nothing is spoken. These people only mix with each other. They only date each other. You'll see lots of the paraphernalia of the all-seeing eye as well on T-shirts or 666 or the word um, evil, which is just the word live backwards. Um, so the 666 symbolism is often also done with this gesture here. 
Um, you will also see symbolism of the upturned cross on their clothing. Um, so please, I'm encouraging you to go and look um, at these, these giveaways from people like, um, uh, well, you know, it goes on, Bob Dylan, um, I've openly stated things. Um, uh, I think, I don't know the name of the lead singer with the Foo Fighters, is it Grohl? If you look at that, even he says the name came up just because it sounded good like UFO, but F-O-O -O in numerology is 666. The F, if you count on the fingers, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then I, J, K, L, M, N, O. So F, O, O is 666. Um, they've also got lots of pictures of them making these gestures. Uh, another one of the gestures really is the hand um, inside. You'll see Fauci standing behind Trump when the COVID um, epidemic was raging doing that. You'll see Harry doing the same. You'll see Prince William doing the same. You'll see Charles doing the same. Um, they're all showing the same signal. This one is, um, I think, I can't remember what it is. It's the, the second, it's the second degree right of something. Um, and that's what's flagging, flagging that up. Um, so it, it, it's, it's endemic, it's a pandemic worldwide, and all of these hand signs are there for you to see. So the world isn't ruled by language, it isn't ruled by conversations, it isn't ruled by codes or laws, it's ruled by symbols. Secret signs, symbols, and sigils, um, and that is why you've got the inverted stars on the, the American flag, on the European flag, um, and you've got the depictions of the all-seeing eye, the CBS logo, um, it's all there. So that's really what I'm, I'm trying to say. And the people who are in the club, um, nobody progresses in the music or media industry. Nobody produces films, whether that's Quentin Tarantino or whether Clooney gets to make a film, unless they've actually been brought in to the, the club first through a lodge. If they're good enough, they continue. But the talent is looked at very early on and they bring them in or they don't. And there is a penalty for deviation and that in many instances, if they speak about it or do not do what they're ordered to do, case in mind, Alec Baldwin on the, um, the set of Rust, the death of the, the photographer, um, uh, cinematographer there was not an accident. So you have to follow orders and you have to do what you're told you need to do. So that is really the, the giveaway. Um, the covering of the eye is the all seeing eye. You'll see lots of um, actors at one time or other are supporting a black eye or a blackened eye. Um, there is other reasons why that is the case, but I'm not going to go into that right now. So hopefully um, the world that you see it is a different place than you imagine. Um, and so whether it is Trudeau, whether it's Starmer, whether it's Boris Johnson, whether it's Biden, whether it's Trump, whether it's Stoltz in Germany or Merkel, whether it's the Pope, whether it's Theresa May or Tony Blair, whether it's Macron, they, whether it's Putin, they are all, I assure you, playing you for stupid. Okay, so with that being said, what does that do for us? Um, there are approximately, in the UK, 10,000 Masonic lodges. There are around about 100 members per lodge at any one time. Numbers vary, obviously. Um, so that gives us about a million, a million people who've sworn an oath to Lucifer in the United Kingdom alone out of a population of around about 64 million. If you take out everybody under the age of 18 to 21, if you take out everybody over the age of, say, let's say 80, if you take predominantly the women out, if you take black people out, ethnic minorities out, migrants out, um, Muslims out, then you find you've got a concentrated 
soup dish of choke point control within the police, the judiciary, um, the courts, the inns of court, and the city of London, and the CEOs. So all of these people, the CEOs of um, the, the large, um, say, five uh, uh, hedge funds of the world, that's um, BlackRock, State, Berkshire, Fidelity, Vanguard, they're all there and in it together and controlling it from the top down. So that's the, the, the thing I'm trying to get you to understand that it's a, a grid of control that you need to try and head off spiritually. So that's really the message. Uh, it's a battle for you, for your soul. If you believe that there's life after, let's say, death, or death is real, um, they want you to believe there is nothing else. They want you to believe it's just a 20, uh, sorry, uh, a 75-year um, start to the beginning, to the end, and that at the end of that, there is nothing left for you other. Therefore, um, the survival of the fittest, grab what you can while you're down here, and don't forget that the chief enemy of the Masonic order, the chief protagonist, that Lucifer, Satan, hated more than anyone was Jesus Christ. So this isn't a, a, a preaching here to get you to become religious. All I'm trying to tell you is that the craft, the witchcraft, the Masonic control agenda of the secret societies that control the Catholics in action, CIA, the NSA, and all these... Um, uh, clandestine agencies are all being run by a Masonic elite or a coterie. So with that in mind, um, what I would like you to do now is consider taking these stickers, stick it to them, put it on the bills, try to make your life a little bit easier. And with a bit of work and due diligence, you can begin to stand up because it is a spiritual declaration of who you are, but what you also do not wish to be presumed to be. And you don't want to be presumed to be a person because persons are just incorporated um, bodies of corporate identity which are traded on the stock market like stock or cattle. And that's what the birth certificate turned you into. So as you don't know it, as the devil with its traps and snares, the Luciferian agenda trapped you, you don't know what you're into. So what I would suggest you do is begin to look, begin to explore, spend some uh, time making a comment about whether we are good for this webinar on um, the, the, the deeper esoteric nature of the secret societies, particularly referencing to Freemasonic orders. And then what we'll do is we'll take it from there. But like, subscribe, do all the usual stuff, but please go along and get yourself some stickers. The link is down below. Um, it's pointed at the removement.net site. So it's www.removement.net and just go to the shop and look there. Um, thank you. Peter of England saying, see you soon.